over 31.5 million people migrated into the U.S. through 1965 and 1920s. They came from all around the world, mostly from Europe, Italy, France, Spain, and many others. Most of the immigrants were from Europe, though 1870s through 1890s more northern and westerns came to the U.S. From the 1990s through 1920s more people came to the central southern and then came into the state. If you were an immigrant and you were working in a factory, it was hard. It was just like a sweatshop. They treated you wrong and they did not like immigrants. For work against construction, it was hard because they did not care if you would die and fall. They didn't care if anything about you. They just wanted you to work no matter what. For working in homes, you were more respected because of the family respected you more than anything other than factories, construction, and anything else. They liked you and they respect you from all on and you got paid really good. In the 1800s, steam power ships were crossed around the Atlantic Ocean in two to three weeks. By the 1900s, the steam powerful steamboats were crossing just to take one week. Even on the brief journey, however, they could take the benefit, especially for those who could not before cabins. Immigrants often sought to live in communities established by preventing settlers from their homeland. These communities formed not only to poor in entries such as New York and Boston, but also inland cities. In the way large settlements of Pocas and Indian grew in Buffalo, Cleveland, Detroit, and Milwaukee. A Devium group of immigrants found a home in Chicago and in Groneport in the railroad hub and industrial center. Thank you.